Enrich your conversations, mastering verb plus adverb collocations. Hello, language enthusiasts. Welcome to another session where we unlock the potentials of English language learning. Today, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of collocations, particularly verb plus adverb collocations. Understanding and using these collocations can significantly enhance your English fluency and help you sound more like a native speaker. To put it simply, collocations are words that often go together, sounding more natural to native speakers. Verb plus adverb collocations are common pairings of verbs and adverbs. For instance, quickly run, gently whisper, and completely agree are examples of verb plus adverb collocations. Learning and using these collocations will not only enrich your vocabulary but also improve your English fluency. Let's explore some of the most common verb plus adverb collocations you'll encounter in spoken English. Remember, practice makes perfect. 1. Fully understand, when you completely comprehend something. 2. E.g., I fully understand your situation. 3. Quickly realize, when you comprehend something promptly. 4. E.g., he quickly realized his mistake. 5. Strongly believe, when you have firm conviction in something. 6. E.g., I strongly believe in equal rights. 7. Easily forget, when something is simply forgotten. 8. E.g., I can easily forget a movie's plot after a few days. 9. Rarely see, when you hardly observe something. 10. E.g., we rarely see snow in this town. Learning collocations is one thing, but applying them in real-life scenarios is where the real learning happens. Here are some examples. 1. Loudly complain when people express dissatisfaction in a high volume. 2. E.g., the customers began to loudly complain about the service. 3. Highly recommend, when suggesting something with great enthusiasm. 4. E.g., I would highly recommend reading that book. 5. Barely survive, when someone or something manages to continue but only just. 6. E.g., they barely survived the tough winter. 7. Deeply regret, when feeling strong remorse for something. 8. E.g., I deeply regret not taking that opportunity. 9. Eagerly await, when looking forward to something with great enthusiasm. 10. E.g., the children eagerly awaited their presence. Thank you for joining today's session on verb plus adverb collocations. We hope this has shed light on these common word pairings and how they can enrich your English speaking and understanding. Don't forget, it's through continuous practice that these phrases will naturally weave themselves into your everyday conversations. Happy learning, and see you in our next session.